What's up, YouTube? So, uh, one of my viewers asked me to do a uh, review of my air rig slash uh, vest plate carrier system. So, I thought I'd do that for him. Uh, to start off, we have a Condor plate carrier Molly system ready body armor vest in tan. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty big, but it's a very nice build. Very good quality. Have no problems with it. Uh, it's very secure. The first uh, attachment point is this side part with Velcro. And then on the inside of that is another inner securing system. And that goes around your waist. And then you attach this, uh, attach the sides, and you're good to go and it'll stay on. Uh, back here is netting for a dummy plate. Uh, over here is, inside here you can put another dummy plate if you guys like those. I don't put them on because they don't. I don't really like them, but it's up to you guys. Next, we have uh, my magazine area. So we have uh, a triple, uh, triple double mag pouch, which means it's triple and then double. Uh, I believe this is Condor. I have uh, three cane arms uh, mid cap magazines, which I always use. A VFC mid cap which came with my polar star and a uh, low nets uh, high cap magazine with the windy string thing which worked quite well uh, I have my last pouch free which is where I put my phone because uh, it's pretty much the most secure place I can think of on my vest Obviously, besides the inside, but easy to get to. Uh, so I only have five magazines here, but I have one in my dump pouch, which is the one I use to start off every game. This is again is a King Arms mid cap. Uh, so I have the five here plus one, so that works out the best for me in my opinion. Moving over here, we have a uh, a uh, Condor single grenade pouch. Uh, I actually had to re-stitch it because the normal uh, stitching, which is down quite a bit lower, would not, or actually I guess up higher, would not allow me to put a grenade in there and close it up, which is kind of annoying because I don't want to lose it. So I had to re-stitch it. That obviously looks bad, but it, uh, it gets the job done. And as you can see, that was shot right there. Uh, on the side, ow, that really hurt. On the sides here, we have... Uh, the sides have uh, two M4 pouches on each side. Uh, for some reason, they're really uh, snug, and they don't really allow you to get a magazine in there. If you wanted to, I could just you could really force it, but it's not really worth it to me. I have a uh, speed loader in there for my mid caps if I need that. You can see I have my strike force patch right there. Up here, I have my Condor sling. I have it attached at the handle back there, and then when I put it on, it kind of evens itself out on each side, so it's not uncomfortable. And then I have the uh, the other end, the other end for this on my gun. Moving over a little bit more to the back, I have my uh, it's technically a pistol pouch uh, on a Molly system, but I have it also set up as a uh, another Thunderbee pouch if I need it. Uh, up here I have my Evike Lead the Way pa patch. I just put it on. It was free, so. Back here I have my Condor uh, uh, Hydration Pack. Uh, I think it's version 2. Uh, it has a lot of molly on here, a nice patch area. In the bottom pouch over here, I have my Polar Star Instruction Manual if I ever need it, which is kind of rare, but I have that if I need it. In the upper little pouch up here, I have just my uh, tournament lock, which I'll show you later for my regulator. And then in the big pouch, uh, it's attached by these four sets of uh, um, attachment points, I don't know what you call them. I have my tank with my regulator and mat, uh, line. This is a 62 cubic inch, 3000 PSI tank. This is actually my smallest tank. I have that one. 
Then, what else do I have? Go over here. My Empire. Uh, 4,568 cubic inch. This is like the classic paintball tank. And I have about 3,500 PSI in here. And this is a Gorilla one also. 90 cubic inch, 4,500 PSI tank. Also by Ninja. And I have about 3,500 PSI in here also. So obviously... Uh, this one is like the main paintball one, which you, you would normally use. This one is just way too big, in my opinion, to, be, to use for paintball. But one thing you do want to be aware of is these thread savers. Again, by Ninja. But you just put them on your uh, threads when you're not using a tank. And it's really helpful because if you screw up your threads, you're pretty much done with and out quite a bit of money. So those are my three tanks. Uh, so I have my regulator here. As you can see, it's all attached. You just twist it off right here. Uh, I'll show you the steps for attaching a tank and setting up your Polar Star. You're going to take your tank, you're going to screw it onto your regulator with the, the valve closed in the closed position. Twist it on. nice and tight not too tight though then you're gonna open your valve up all the way and for me it's I open it all the way uh, for you might not have to but for me it's specific so that I get about 120 psi 130 when I open it up all the way and then it obviously goes to your line over here this is my mini regulator I have this set to I think 110 I believe so to adjust it you just pull that part over there and turn it now Go on to this. This is my uh, my tournament lock, makeshift tournament lock. It's pretty much just a piece of small PVC pipe. Uh, you just put it on there, and then you take. Uh, for me, it's three of Strike Force's uh, um, ties. You put them through here around the line, tie them off, and I can't adjust it without uh, cutting the ties and taking this off. So that's. A sort of tournament lock that gets the job done. Put that back in there. And then we move on. It goes, oh, this goes in here like this. You just kind of bunch this up over here. You don't want to make it too, like, weird because you don't want any air leads or something. But just as long as it fits in here, I have it like that and it gets the job done. And then it goes through my handle over here over here onto the uh, clip over here which attaches this part of the vest to up over here right through there it holds it in place and then down over here I put on my vest from the left side of the vest so I don't un I don't uh, take this part off relatively often so I just have it clipped in here which holds it in place and then it goes right to my gun so that is my review of my uh, of my uh, airline air raid system and my vest. If you guys have any more questions, uh, feel free to message me or comment or whatever. And I will see you guys next video. Thanks. Bye.